Hello guys, welcome to another exciting episode of NX Daily Top 5 Tech. At number 5, Google is using software to make the Pixel 3 screen corners even rounder. Google is extending its design aesthetics that favors subtle, rounded corners even further by manually adjusting the Pixel 3 screen's corners during startup as first spotted by an eagle-eyed Reddit user earlier today. Material theme, an updated version of the company's software design philosophy, is the driving force behind the Gmail and Chrome redesigns of late. And you'll notice it most prevalently in the new Chrome tab design that issues rough and pronounced corners for softer rounder ones. Google isn't going so far as to turn the edges of the Pixel 3 display into Chrome tab replicas, but it is using a subtle software trick to shrink the radius of each corner of the display to produce more rounded corners. At number 4, the OnePlus 6T launch is being rescheduled because of Apple. OnePlus is moving up the launch of its OnePlus 6T by a day in order to avoid colliding with Apple's iPad Pro and Mac event on the 30th of October, which was just announced this week. The Soda launch event, which has over 1,000 confirmed attendees so far, is a ticketed event for OnePlus fans as well as press. In past events, OnePlus has credited the cost of tickets back when attendees purchased the phone. OnePlus is now reaching out to attendees to let them know about the rescheduling and is offering to cover travel expenses for attendees if they need to change their flights. The company is also offering full refunds to ticket holders who won't be able to attend. At number 3, some Google Pixel owner's camera photos are in saving. Some users of the new Google Pixel 3 and 3 XL are experiencing an issue in which taking a photo using Google Camera occasionally fails to save. The issue occurs specifically in cases when the user takes a photo with a Google Camera and switches to another app or locks the phone immediately after. Users are able to see a thumbnail of the photo in the camera gallery circle, but upon tapping it, the photo disappears. There are also some reports of Galaxy S9, Moto Z2, Moto E4 and Nexus 5X owners experiencing the issue after using Google Camera. So it's unclear whether the issue is limited to Pixel phones or if it's connected to a larger Android bug. Hmm, we'll see about that. At number 2. How to view your notification history on Android If you've used Android for quite some time, it's likely you've mistakenly swiped away a notification or two for one reason or the other. Or you accidentally cleared everything in the notification drawer without meaning to, or maybe you just wonder where all your notifications go and if there's a historical list of them after you've dismissed them. But not to worry, as you can find everything from missed messages, emails, app updates, and even system messages in the stock notification log option. You can also use on notification on any Android 8.0 Plus phone to bring back your last dismissed notification. Here is how to go about it. Step 1. Long press home screen. Step 2. Press widgets. Step 3. Drag the settings one by one widget on your screen. And Step 4. Choose notification log. And you're good to go. At number 1, the Galaxy Book 2 is Samsung's answer to the Surface Pro. A couple of weeks after Microsoft announced the Surface Pro 6, Samsung is today unveiling the $1,000 Galaxy Book 2, an always connected Windows 2-in-1 that features Qualcomm's Snapdragon 850 processor and a revamped design that's extremely close to the Surface. It goes on sale from November 2nd. Samsung says the Galaxy Book 2 is capable of Gigabyte Class LTE and delivers multi-workday battery on a single charge. Specifically, the battery estimate is up to 20 hours. The Book 2 speakers include Dolby Atmos support and just like Samsung's flagship phones, are tuned by the company's AKG division. An all-new Red Kick stand has a Surface Pro-like hinge that allows you to adjust the angle of the 12-inch display to a near-flat level and it's included in the box keyboard magnetically attaches to the bottom display bezel in the exact same way as a Surface keyboard. And that's it guys on NX Daily Top 5 Tech. For this and more, follow us on all social media platforms at Nigeria Extreme and you can visit our website at www.nigeria.tv.